If you have read about Tenerife, there is one word that you would have constantly found in the descriptions. Variety. Welcome to Watchzilla. Today we are going to explore the most picturesque of the Canary Islands, Tenerife. Tenerife is the largest of the Canary Island and also the island with the largest number of visitors of the archipelago. This is due to the diversity of landscapes and things to do, as Tenerife has something to offer for each type of guest, from great weather all year round to parties and sports competitions. There are so many things to do in Tenerife that you simply wouldn't know which to choose first. Even if you're visiting Tenerife for the warm winter weather or great beaches, we encourage you to also spend some time exploring the island and discovering its many natural wonders and also beautiful traditional towns where you can get a taste of the local culture and architecture. Number 13. Tenerife Carnival. If you're an enthusiast of this traditional festival, you cannot miss the Carnival of Tenerife, the second best known carnival in the world after the one celebrated in Rio de Janeiro. Rio might have the biggest carnival in South America, but the Canary Islands are the place to be for Carnvale in Europe. It has been a festival of international tourist interest since 1980 and is a World Heritage Site. Over the course of a week, festivals, processions and parties flood the streets of Santa Cruz with color fathers and glitters. The election of the Carnival Queen, the troops, the costumes, the songs, and other activities make this event an experience that you should go through at least once in a lifetime. The Santa Cruz de Tenerife Carnival is a fun event to attend with a group or with the family. Let out all your creativity and have fun like never before in this street of Tenerife during the carnival. You've never seen anything like it this side of the Atlantic. Number 12. Pyramids of Gymer. Did you know there were pyramids in Tenerife? Well then, you are in for a surprise. If you want to delve into the island's most ancient past, then you should definitely visit the Pyramids of Gymer. Now, don't expect something similar to the Great Pyramids of Giza in Egypt. The Pyramids of Gymer natural complex consists of a collection of six freestanding pyramids built in the 19th century outside of the town of Gymer. They are impressive, especially since they were built without mortar. The Pyramids of Gymer have become a popular tourist site due to their mysterious appeal and historical ambiguity. They definitely stand out in the national park filled with reed ships, ancient artifacts and tranquil grounds. Number 11. Cueva del Viento. The Cueva del Viento is located in the town of Ica de los Vinos and is one of the largest lava tubes in the world. During your visit, you can go to a small section of it and see fossils of already extinct vertebrates. It is certainly one of the most curious places to visit in Tenerife. Its name is derived from the incredible currents of air that are inside and that are the product of the great maze of volcanic stone that makes up this cave. It has not yet been fully excavated, so keep in mind that the visitor area is very small compared to the total size of this volcanic tube. The temperature drops a few degrees inside the cave, so if you don't want to be cold, we recommend wearing long pants and a sweatshirt, as well as closed toe and comfortable footwear. Number 10. Anaga Rural Park. The Anaga Forest is one of the most magical places in Tenerife, with its laurel trees and wild beaches like the popular Benijo Beach. If you have rented a car for your holiday, don't miss a day trip to this part of the island as it's one of Tenerife's most amazing places to see and visit. The natural landscape here is completely different from the south of the island and from the areas surrounding Mount Teed. Here you will find a jagged green coastline, with dramatic peaks and cliffs directly over the sea. There are lots of hiking trails in Anaga, which will allow you to thoroughly explore this part of Tenerife. Our personal favorite is the one leaving to the Semaforo of Igast. Starting at the small town of Igast, this 4.5 kilometers trail has spectacular views everywhere you look. 
The hike is very steep and will take around 2.5 hours. During the hike you will be able to admire the steep green mountains on one side and the sea on the other. The white houses of Igest are perched along the mountainside, creating a beautiful contrast with the lush green vegetation. There are lots of gorgeous hikes also on the northern coast of Tenerife, such as the ones at Roque de Taborno and Benijo. Look up at the weather forecast before you make the trip though, as sometimes it can be cloudy and foggy. Whatever hike you choose, make sure to pack your hiking essentials and be ready for a fun day exploring stunning natural landscapes. Number 9. Lauro Park. Did you know that there is a very big zoo in Tenerife? Where on earth can you see gorillas, lions, tigers, hippos, red pandas, flamingos, penguins, iguanas, tortoises, and alligators all at once? That's what waits for kids big and small at Loro Park. This is Europe's best zoo, with its latest attraction, Catandra treetops home to emus, cockatoos, kookaburras and many more birds. You can see a lot of birds, gorillas, jaguars, lions, and even orcas and dolphins. Don't miss the aquarium, where you can see over 100 aquatic species, or the penguins, who have made their home on one of the biggest icebergs, outside the polar regions. Now, while the pools for the dolphins and orcas are quite huge, they are definitely not the ocean. The park itself with its many flowers and greenery is quite beautiful as well. Number 8. San Cristobal de la Laguna. If the pretty streets of Paris or tiled floors of Lisbon do it for you, make your way up to San Cristobal de la Laguna. This town was built in the 16th and 18th centuries, meaning that many of the public and private buildings have a charming colonial style to them. The town of San Cristobal de la Laguna is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and it deserves at least a few hours to walk around and see the beautiful buildings. If you're with the kids you may want to visit the Museum of Science and the Cosmos, and why not also the Museum of History and Anthropology. Stay in a hotel here for a few nights to explore gorgeous buildings like the Palacio de Nava, go shopping on Calle Carrera and feast in local tavernas. Number 7. Whale and Dolphin Watching No holiday to Tenerife would be complete without a boat trip where you can see dolphins and whales in their natural habitat. Take one of Tenerife's most popular excursions and discover the shores of Los Gigantes. Be a part of the Atlantic Ocean for a couple of hours. The waters between Tenerife and La Gomera are ideal for spotting these majestic mammals. And this three-hour cruise also includes unlimited drinks, champagne, snacks and hotel pickup. Often you are even able to go for a swim in one of the numerous bays along Tenerife's south coast. A perfect activity for the whole family. Los Gigantes is also the place where you can do jet skiing, paddle boarding, kayaking, snorkeling, scuba diving, canoeing, quad and ATV tours, all kinds of sports you can imagine. Number 6. El Teed. Standing at a height of 3,718 meters, the Teed volcano is the highest peak in Spain, so it isn't surprising that this spot is the main attraction in Tenerife. Here you can find unique species, such as the Echium wilpretii, which grows in spring, or the Teed violet, a flower that can only be admired above 2,500 meters of altitude. The easiest way to get up Mount Teed is by cable car, which will leave you 200 meters below the highest point. If you want to reach the absolute summit, you'll need to walk from there. But the effort is worth it, since being up there and seeing the red of the Canary Islands at your feet is, without a doubt, the best thing to do in Tenerife. To reach the top, you must apply for the permit, although you can get it directly when booking the cable car. Number 5. Siam Park. The famous Siam Park was named as the best water park in the world for the second year in a row. 
the biggest water park in Europe, the worldwide best water leisure park, the biggest artificial wave of the world, all these titles describe the fantastic Siam Park in Thai style which is a size of 18.5 hectares. The Siam Park offers a lot of exciting shoot attractions, the longest of which is Lazy River, or a shoot with the biggest dragon statue of the world. You can visit the park at any time of the year, as the pools are heated to a comfortable 24 Celsius. The highlight is the 28 meters high chute, known as the Tower of Power, at the end of which you will find a big aquarium with sharks and rays. At the entrance sea lions will be waiting for you. One day at the Siam Park is quite an experience. This park belongs to the unique attractions that only Tenerife offers. Number 4. Garachico. Garachico is a small town with cobbled streets and charming white houses. Given the rocky coastline and powerful sea of Tenerife, it shouldn't surprise you that there are countless natural pools all over the island. Located in the town of Garachico, the Piscinas Naturales del Caelton are natural saltwater rock pools that you can swim in. There are also man-made additions where you can sunbathe and chill between swims. The charcos are rock formations on the coast that let in seawater and serve a small natural pool where you can bathe in complete solitude. You will find these charcos in both the north and south of Tenerife. The difference is that those in the south are usually a bit busier than those in the north. Taking a dip in them is, without a doubt, one of the best free things to do in Tenerife. In addition to the Kaelton de Garachico, the most outstanding butyls on the island are those of Jover and Bajamer. If you're wondering what to do in Tenerife with kids and you feel like doing something quiet, Bajamer even has an exclusive area for them. Number 3. Teed National Park. The largest and oldest national park in the Canary Islands and home to Spain's highest peak, Mount Teed, Teed National Park is one of the top attractions on Tenerife. Mount Teed is an active volcano in Tenerife. No visit to Tenerife would be complete without a visit to Mount Teed. Teed National Park covers a surface area of 190 square kilometers and encompasses a vast variety of landscapes. The rugged landscape of the park, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is magnificent, a geological wonder featuring an expanse of rugged lava fields, ancient calderas, and volcanic peaks. You can hike or take a cable car to the base of the final cone summit, where you'll enjoy breathtaking views of Tenerife, Grand Canaria and La Palma. If you love hiking, you need to dedicate at least a couple days exploring the beauty of this volcano. If you want to head to the top of the summit you will need to get a permit in advance. The Teed Observatory is the world's largest solar observatory and is on Mount Teed at an altitude of 2,400 meters above sea level. There aren't many better locations for observing the sun or gazing at the night sky. Number 2. Los Gigantes. Don't miss he chance to see the cliffs in Los Gigantes or Acantilados de Los Gigantes as they are named in Spanish. Los Alcantilados de Los Gigantes are the second highest cliffs in Europe. They are 500 meters high and are nearly vertical. The Aborigines called them evil walls because originally they would prevent invaders from accessing Tenerife. Los Gigantes are tremendous structures that are naturally beautiful and only exist here on Tenerife. The best place to gaze at these giants is from the water. You can spend some time at the beach, but if you want to enjoy one of the best views of the cliffs you should head over to Mirador de Archipank. Form the marina in Los Gigantes, you also have the option to go on boat trips and the cruise by sailboat is one of the most popular in this part of Tenerife. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Number 1. Masca Ravine. The Masca Ravine is one of the most popular hiking trails in Tenerife. 
The trail departs from the hamlet of Masca and, after descending through imposing vertical rock walls, reaches a beach that bears the same name. The ravine belongs to the Tino Rural Park, an incomparable location if you're looking for the best Tenerife sightseeing. If you want to hike this trail, leave your car in Los Gigantes and take a taxi to Masca. Once you descend and arrive at the beach, you can take a boat to reach Los Gigantes and, on the way, enjoy the breathtaking cliffs from the water. The descent through the Masca Ravine takes between 3 and 4 hours, and the journey by boat to Los Gigantes takes about 10 minutes. If you're not used to hiking, Masca excursion with a dolphin watching tour after the hike is definitely the best option. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watchzilla, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.